Hi everyone, Mike Nelson here on the Satellite of Love. It's walkathon season and I'm being hit up by two competing groups. You gotta admire their energy. So Crow, who are you doing it for again? Uh Walkathon, Mike. No, I know that. Who's the group that you're raising the money for? Walkathon. Yeah, it's an acronym. It stands for Walkers at Large, Kinetically Altruistic Through Hygiene or Knowledge. Knowledge with an N? Yeah, yeah, with with a K it would be walk a thock, ah. which, you know, doesn't really no, work. No, no, you're right about that. <laughs> uh, what about you, Servo? Well, I'm walking for helping children through research and development. Oh, Hectrad, yeah, I think I've heard of that group. That's a good group. No, actually, helping children through research and development is the acronym, Mike. Hmm. It stands for, hi, everyone, let's pitch in and get cracking here in Louisiana doing right, eh? Now then, hateful, rich, overbearing, ugly guys hurt royally every time someone eats a radish, carrot, or d'oeuvre and never does dishes. Eventually, Victor eats lunch over Peoria mit ein neues Burger Tog. Okay, yeah, and, and what does this group do? I mean, what... Oh, a lot of good, Mike, and if you could help out with even a dollar a mile, I'd sure thank you. And hi, everyone. Let's pitch in and get cracking wow. here in Louisiana doing right, eh? Now then, hateful, rich, overbearing, ugly guys hurt royally every time someone eats a radish, carrot, or d'oeuvre and never does dishes. Eventually, Victor eats lunch over Peoria mit ein Neuesburger. Todd would thank you as well. Well, you know, I'd like to do what I can. I, uh... Well, it is tax deductible, Mike, so you would be getting a gift confirmation from Hi, everyone. Let's pitch All in right. and get cracking uh, here in Louisiana shove off, doing Mike. right. Eh? Okay, I don't blame you. Hey, Good luck on that. Ugly guys we'll be right royally. back. Every time someone eats a radish, carrot, or d'oeuvre and never does dishes. Eventually, Victor eats lunch over Peoria Midtime Neuesburger Todd's T-shirt for sponsoring our walkathon. Oh, well, that's great. Hey, and it's a beefy tea, too. Appreciate it. Well, of that. course. You know, it helps to create public awareness for, hi, everyone, let's pitch in and get cracking here in Louisiana. Hey, doing... hey, hey, Mike, our sensors just detected a spaceship launched from the planet's surface. <sighs> Oh, our game, Scooter. Well, there. Nelson, I see you found me. Stop hitting! I packed up these preternatural little kids we found, and now I'm taking them back home to their omnipotent mommies and daddies. We got homesick. I'm hungry again! Jeez, Louise, didn't I just give you a big jar of garlic salt? I finished it! We finished our cocktail onions, too. Well, buddy, Good grab thing. Grandma's purse. Let's see what we got in Grandma, there. I think buddy. there's some, yeah, there's some jalapeno, uh... Thanks, Grandma. Yeah, green cherries. Thank you, thank you. Hearts of palm, uh, crowd juice. Uh, oysters, those are mine, and uh, Argentinian corned beef products. Oh, Scooter's getting sick again! Shut up, I'm not. I ought to. Cool, he's gonna heft. There will be no hefting while I'm pilot of this vessel. Scooter, be a man. I had too many Uncle Josh's pork rides. Well, finish your roses, lime juice, and you can have more capers. Okay. Okay, Nelsonic device, listen up. I'll be out of range soon. I'm leaving BJ and the bear in charge down there on the planet. They'll send you the movie. Now, I've patched through to their frequency. I don't have a live visual to feed, but we should have voice contact now. Hello, Mike. Uh, Mike, hello? Hello, Mike. C can you hear me? Yes, Bobo, I can hear you just fine. Mike, Mike? Yes, and I can hear you too. You're coming through just as fine and clear as can be. Um, this is Professor Bobo, son of Coco, calling from the surface of the unknown planet below you. <clears throat> Good afternoon. It's a lovely day for a movie, a light breeze, five to seven knots, barometer holding steady at 52.5, just a super, super day. Observer, how are things looking from your end? I'm five feet away, you stupid primate. Uh, uh, thank you, Observer. Now, Mike, I'm supposed to send you the movie entitled The Incredibly Strange Creatures Who Stopped Living and Became Mixed-Up Zombies, but, um, uh, you see, I, uh, I forgot how. Oh, well, that's okay, Bobo. Don't bother on our account. Yeah, let's skip it. Oh, for the love of Heidegger, I'll take care of it, you adult-pated homunculus. All right, you cream-faced loon. I've had just about enough out of you. Good, 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 good God, what are you doing, man? That, that, that's disgusting. You don't know the half of it. How about a little game of cat? Oh, what, what, what are you going to do with that? Oh, oh no, no, you can't possibly... Start running, Casper. Oh, no, please. I, I beg you. That's, uh, oh, 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 oh. Remind me never to cross Bobo. Well, we got movie side. <laughs>
Passaic, New Jersey, where America's day begins. <laughs> Waiter, the revolving restaurant's going too fast. <laughs> Welcome to the girl pavilion. See the leg waxing demonstration. See the latest in stripping technology. <laughs> it's flapper recruiting. I beat the kissing. Maum Estrella? Garth Hudson's playing behind the curtain. Yes, yes, come, come into the voting booth. Oh. Ah, red buttons. <laughs> oh, and Joan Collins has checked into the boards. You shouldn't have done that. I told you to keep your filthy hands off me. Well, Merry Christmas anyway, though. Hey, you know, it wasn't for that sister of yours, Carmelita, I never would come around to stump. Oh, a wise guy, huh? You couldn't buy enough booze to make me go for you. But could you try? <laughs> Why don't you try some of those sideshow freaks? You dirty, filthy pig. <laughs> oh, I belong with the freaks, huh? I'll fix you so even the beast will not look at you. Ortega! Ah, 12-day-old scotch. Mm. Ortega! Excuse. Yes, what? madame. Take him and make him like my other little pet. So put him on a hamster wheel? Wow. Yeah. Hey, this is only 80 pro. Ortega taco shells are made from people. <coughs> Forced shiatsu. Mm, skull juice. Elizabeth Taylor's poison. Flavorite vitriol. <laughs> you big and major lawyer. Well, we better conserve, ma'am. You're going to be scorned by other salesmen. The lesson: have sex with a fortune-telling gypsy if she demands it. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Oh boy, the size of the word "presents" makes me think they're a little sheepish about it. The title actually has appendices. You know, I saw the sequel to this: T I S C W S L A B M U Z two. Proud of David Schwimmer. Need a new atlas? Come to Atlas King, where maps rule. Three locations. <laughs> hey, Hooker's a good son. Don't. Yeah, the organ has emphysema. Face is the result of slash and burn shaving. Ooh. Wow, entertainers and dancing girls. Is there a buffet too? <laughs> You'd tell me if my face was disintegrating, right? Sure, my... Ooh. It's turning into a brisket. It's a portrait of Bob Dole's inner child. <laughs> Come here, Libby Quinn, play the organ with her feet. If it says Libby's, Libby's, Libby's in the credits, 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 you won't like it, like it, like it? <laughs> <laughs> He's turning into a seed sculpture from the state fair. Music's going to break into chest fever any minute. Well, any questions so far, anyone? Uh, I, uh, mm -hmm. Tom Petty in the morning. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, Ray Dennis Steckler, that explains a lot. Yeah, and the fine tradition of Arch Hall Jr. You know, seaweed makes a perfectly acceptable toupee, I think. Oh, you're getting yeah. Ah, good old-fashioned nightmare fuel. Ross Perot's Commedia dell'arte. Hayward, Wisconsin's devil-worshipping days. Well, I guess the cat had to be there. I don't know. Cinematography by Zapruder. Want to go to cafe and get cocktails? <laughs> the guy in front has a private box. <laughs> well, at least he shaved under his armpits. She's the most masculine man I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, I've got an order up, Susan. I really can't do this right now. Duct tape works wonders, you know. Mm. And here she portrays an ice hogger. Oh, jeez, Steve, you're not as light as you used to be. No one's ever attempted an interpretive dance of Mein Kampf before. I saw the little sizzler there, Hank. Could get more tape. 
I think Corky St. Clair choreographed this. <laughs> yeah, I think the Teamsters in the audience are getting a little restless. <laughs> Michael Flatley's Lord of the Dull. Maybe I should grow a mustache. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Stomp. Thank you, a sissy and a sissy. These kids are terrific. Wow, that's testing the tensile strength of the duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how far she flies. Andre Gromyko looks on. I thought you were dead. Let's hear it for Hank and Larry. Yay! And now... Funny man Herman Gehring. Wow, it must be free chicken wings or something. <laughs> oh man, they're aching tonight, let me tell you. <laughs> Renee Richards is Wendy Carlos in Glen or Glenda. What's wrong? What? I just puked up my fancy feast, is all. All right, but why get all shook up about a cat? What part of the mouse head I have in my mouth? I can't stand them. Every time I get near one, something strange happens to me. Like when I grew antlers? Why don't you lay off that stuff? Why don't you lay off the father routine? Look, honey, I'm just trying to give you a friendly bit of advice. Those mistakes in your routine last night almost cost you your job. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll give you a try. Just for you. Look, I'd rather you did this just for yourself. <laughs> Bill W., theatrical manager. Mm -hmm. so, maybe not. Backstage with Nana Muscuri. I think it's about time we left, Harold. What do you think? And now over to Harold to see what he thinks, and now Harold. I don't know, Jerry. What do you think? Well, if we're late, you know, Angie's just liable to blow her top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And her mother won't like that, would she? Her mother doesn't <laughs> like that. I mean, if that's the director, Ray Dennis Steckler. That is. Especially me. Well, if you get a job or something, she might sense her mind, you know? <laughs> job. I'm a respected neurosurgeon. Discreet about that, will you, Harold? Somebody's liable to hear you. Well, you gotta do something, you know? <laughs> Why? The world's here to be enjoyed, not to make you depressed. That's what work does, Hal. It makes you feel depressed. Goofus and Gallant, the movie. So, <laughs> instead of being in that state of depression, why don't we cut out, okay? Yeah, I see a killing spree in their future. Mm. Swing it. Swing it. <laughs> they live in a tool shed. Xanadu, stately home of Charles Whitman. <laughs> the storage lockers of Dr. Caligari. <laughs> Don't forget, we have to pick the kids up. We'll return to In Cold Blood Goes to California. If you lived here, you'd be depressed by now. No. There weren't any spiders in it. No, I'm sorry, so I can't. I just got my new fiberglass hair. No, I made a plan for the day. Uh-huh. Okay, here's the plan. Bye-bye. Look, they have a photo of Mother Maybelle Carter. Who was that? Oh, Phil. He wanted me to go to the beach with him today. Well, why don't you go? <laughs> um, I can't. I have a date with Siri. She's a real Earth Mother type. <laughs> I don't see how you can prefer Jerry to Phil when Phil is such a nice boy. I like Jerry. Phil just isn't my type. I'm fascinated by Jerry because he's different. He's part lizard. He isn't like any of the boys you know. Oh, Mother, Jerry's fun. He's exciting. We go places I've never dreamed of before. Oh. You're right at the age when you could make a terrible mistake. And do you think Jerry would be a mistake? Yes, I do. She's a Q-tip. Jerry has no education. He'll never be able to make a living. Oh, Mother. If you try to build a life with him, you'll be miserable. Yes. And really, Mother, you're way ahead of me. I just have fun with Jerry, that's all. Ah, nothing runs like a Bulgarian car. <laughs> at Grimley. Oh. Well, let me take your last known photo. Does he always have to honk that horn and drive like a maniac? All the boys do, Mother. That's mm. the way they are. Yeah, things that bad, you gotta wash your own car. Things are rough all over. 
Yeah, the world's in a state of depression. And? Please don't go. Your hair won't clear the door. But I like Jerry so much. He makes my hair big. Someday he's going to meet a girl that is just his type. And you'll be hurt. I don't think so. I'm so upset I might binge on a saltine. He didn't come to the door for you. It wouldn't be Jerry if he did. <laughs> and that's a good thing. <laughs> I'm secretly in love with Cherry, too. Angie, baby. I had an accident. <laughs> I want to be Jerry, too. How's it going? Fine. You should try it sometime. No, thanks. The world's my collie. He's taking it past fail. Let's go. See you later, Madison. Uh, I'd go with, but I have to give Mother her sponge bath. Oh, Mom's going running. Well, let's hurry. We've got corpses to pick up. I'm standing next to Ethel Kennedy, I must say. <laughs> we are joyriding. Come on, world, pull my finger. Sky. Ah, oh, those rebels. Why, they're going to park in a 90-minute zone and at a slight angle. <laughs> Climb the terrifying gazebo. Wow, Jerry, you really know how to take me places I've never been before. Um, you should know that I am foreign. Take a right. Good, thank So can foreign people go to this place? Hmm? Can foreign... Did you guys just see that or I imagine it? <laughs> Apparently those people don't know how to get the tickets here, get the tickets here. And he misses the ocean. <laughs> Come on, let's get away from my weird foreign friend. Oh dear, he should not frolic. Hey, I found some really good medical waste. <laughs> Whoa, wrong turn. I think they're in the Gobi Desert now. I threw up in your hair. I'm sorry. Why the wrecking ball? <laughs> Outtakes from the Manson family Christmas. Oh. Yeah, As will to be some pressure gets him every time. <laughs> He's not a natural pole dancer, is he? <laughs> wow, this quarter square mile has unbelievably good light rail transit. Our main character, the roller coaster. It's a story of a roller coaster and its love for the wild mouse. Yeah, I think this uh, roller coaster should hold out for one more ride. If Six Flags Over Texas had designed the L. Owned in nausea vision. Now, wasn't there at one point a fortune teller who killed a doughy middle manager guy? Or am I thinking of a <laughs> No. <laughs> oh, hi, Rerod. I drink, but I don't inhale. My first night on the floor was a real spectacle. And that's the last time I'll drink before performance. I can't stand his act. The manager wanted to fire me, but he's a friend of mine, so he wouldn't fire me. I talked him out of it. But my wife did say, <laughs> now she's really something, if I didn't stop drinking, she was going to leave me. Ah, the third Gumble brother. <laughs> Boy, I'm sure we're going to miss her. Bring out the Nazis! <laughs> but, but you know, with my wife, there are two sides to every argument. Wait, I thought she left. My wife and her mother's. Uh, so did the mother stay when the wife uh, left? Or? But they're really wonderful. <laughs> Miss Marge Nielsen and Mr. Bill Ward. Let's have a big round of applause for them. George C. Scott as George M. Cohen. Guess the genders and win a free cocktail. <laughs> Transvestite cam. Please, the Fuhrer is out there tonight. You're not funny. You're not a woman. Hmm? <laughs> this is not the precision dancing I'm used to. Oh, oh, oh. 
I'm concerned. Let's wrap it up. We're bombing. <laughs> when is this song going to start? <laughs> oh, they're less bad tonight. <laughs> the bat to see. You and your stupid ovaries. <laughs> Next up, Sam Harris. <laughs> the wrestling team of Lunt and Fontaine. Oh, work your magic, Boone's Farm. Hey, Marge, are you all right? Just leave me alone, will you? Okay, okay. Oh, he's got to be gay. He's showing concern. Look, oh. I warned you last night to lay off that stuff. No, I'm sorry. I can't run a nightclub with a drunken star. Now, you take the next show off. And if you're not back in time for the third show, I'm sober, you're fired. I'll put on your fishnets and dance with Heinz myself. I better wax my jockstrap area. Magazine about the Jetsons' dog. <laughs> Please let us off. We've been on this since 9.30 this morning. <laughs> Early space launches. In the future, we will all commute to work this way. This is a hijack. We're taking this roller coaster to Cuba. <laughs> go, Cyclone Racer, go! <laughs> World's greatest ride within a fairly <laughs> narrow universe. So what you're saying, Crow, is that using Servo's head as the crystal ball, you can tap into the infinite power of the universe and read my aura, tell my future. All this for only 50 cents? Exactly. Oh, crap. I'm, I'm into that, actually. Great, great. Well, I promise, Mike, you will be amazed. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, so music, Servo. Okay. You've got to have the right atmosphere. Okay. Okay. We're tapping into your aura now. Lift up your arms, Michael J. Nelson. Close your eyes. Tapping into your aura now. Open yourself up. Let it flow out. Tapping into your aura now. Tapping into servo. Grab the money and run. I can't crawl. Run, it? come on. I can't run. You see... Stupid son of a God, Mike, is, yes, we're still tapping, tapping into those mystical realms. Of it. Picture me upon your knee. Da, 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 so, da, 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 all this, it, everything here for for 50 cents. I know. I'm sorry. Because if you want 50 cents, I'll give you no, 50 no, no, cents. No, no, I mean, please, you don't have no, to put no, curtains don't, up. Mike, it must no, have taken no, hours. No, you don't have to do on, that. Come on, Mike. Don't. Here's the 50 cents, right? Okay. Here. Take, take, we'll be right back. Hey, Crow, we got the money! Right, <laughs> Squid, <laughs> man! Right, the giant milkweed pot. <laughs> Here you are, folks, the biggest bargain to hit the midway. They'll thrill you. They'll kill you. You'll even ask for more. Ooh. Funny, beautiful girls, supple as a serpent, twisting, writhing, and winding. Oh, the most girls. spectacular show ever to hit the midway. The Garden of Eden, folks, and none of the three have these. And he's never had it so good. Children of all ages will enjoy our exotic dancers. Holly Golightly goes to the state fair. Crips, the Bloods, and Mike. Hey, I have one of those. I'll do it. I'll get my nails done. Answer and Claire come back later. Welcome to Purple Curtain Warehouse. Hello, Polonius. Are you there? Hello. 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 Yeah. Welcome, my dear. Won't you sit down? Thank you. Do you mind if I sit down first? We take Visa, MasterCard, and dead rats. <laughs> you wish to have your fortune told? No, I want my oil changed. Of course I want my fortune told. It is a thing one must be sure about. Mommy. But it is a great responsibility to learn one's future. I'm willing to take the chance. From the experience.
expression on your face, it would seem to me that you are uh, searching for something. Yes, booze. I'm not sure what it is. I only know that something evil lies ahead for George. me. George. Edie Budget Gourmet. You that your life might be in danger? I only know that something will happen. I have to know what. Then we must yeah. consult the gods. She's subletting Dr. Carlo Lombardi's place. The gods will fail us if we are in danger. She reads coasters, then. What did you see? Is that a ward or an air nozzle? I'll look for myself. You will be twirled by a thin gay Nazi. Death card, isn't it? Yes. Ew, icky. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. No! Hey, 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 we got a dine and dash. Phil Necro. Oh. <laughs> Somewhere, a purse hits a floor. Hey! Well, I guess we should exchange insurance information, huh? I am interested. <laughs> Never mind, folks. Just forget it. Just one of the many attractions we have going through here at all times. Really? Many attractions. What's wrong with her? Well, whatever she's running from must be in there. Who did that? Oh. <laughs> well, I'm going to swipe all her Clinique. And this will go with our Tagus Chanel outfit. <laughs> ah, she's a member of the Vodka of the Month Club. Come on, let's go in there and get food, okay? Yeah, Jerry, come on, let's get our food. Oh, I can find a lot better ways to spend my money, huh? Come on, come on. Don't tell me your feet are starting to freeze. I'll try anything once. Would you lie face down on a porcupine? No. Oh, it's dark in here. Let me out of this purse. Hey, look, Jerry, a crystal ball. How about that? Let's have a seat, huh? Let's tell each other what we're going to do before we do it and then do it. I think I'll start with the country omelet. You wish your fortune told? What do you think we came here for, do you? You talk funny, you filthy pig. <laughs> well, you'll all die horrible deaths. Ten dollars. I'd like my fortune with. And I'd like to supersize it. Cross my farm with steel. Oh, he looks like Nosferatu. Okay, how much? Fifty cents. Yeah, let me get my condom out of the way here. <clears throat> Some egg, you know. <laughs> Thank you. Give me your palm, please. You will have a big house and pff, there's a swimming pool. <laughs> mm, you are very fortunate, young lady. You are going to be lucky in love. I see only one husband for you. <laughs> this day that is a remarkable thing, huh? Mm -hmm. You are going to be rich if you are not already, so... I see that your mother will not approve of the man you pick for husband. Yeah, that's me, honey. <laughs> okay, when are you going to use the fishbowl? I use both the crystal and the palm for my reading. Yeah, I crystal feel the heat. shows the immediate future. Mm -hmm. The palm shows the indication of one's entire life. It's a two-pronged fortune attack. The use of the crystal is very dangerous. Why do you say that? Sometimes the crystals see things that it is better we do not know. Anyway, about your fortunes. Um, ah, I'm getting a C prompt. Hold on. Oh no! Oh jeez! Oh my God! Uh huh. That go feed go quick again. It wouldn't be Jerry. Hang on. What do you see? I see much unhappiness for you in the near future. Much? Someone who is near to you is going to die. Oh, come on now. The crystal does not lie. What the crystal sees... The crystal gale. It reveals. And the director digs out an eye booger. <laughs> I see... Someone... Yes. Yeah. It is you. Yes, I see an oily fortune teller. Oh, that's me. Uh, water. No. Oh. I see a man. I can no longer see you. Uh-huh. Sure. No. 
Yeah, sure. Sounds good. Could you move this along, please? Thanks. You are lying on the ground. My water. <clears throat> I can no longer see anything else. This offer expires in six months. Future not valid in Utah and Alaska. Well, now that you're at airports, why don't you tell me mine? It doesn't work on ferrets, okay? <laughs> there is nothing I can tell you. Why can't you read mine? First, you have to have one. <laughs> yeah. Some cannot be read. Their life is but a shadow. Yeah. Yeah. Or such a person. Come on now, tell me mine, will you? Yeah. I cannot tell you anything else now. I think you clouded up her crystal ball. <laughs> She's got a pet tick. Clouds <laughs> affect only the cloud. It is clown law. The You've got mail. <laughs> Why don't you come back some other time, tell you? Yeah. Sure. I'll come back again. You can bet on that. I will charge you only for the young lady. You bet you will. Look, you want to talk to my supervisor, sir? Which is the way out of here? That way. Come on. Uh, do you have a future punch card? You want one? Boy, I don't want to get lost in this place. Well, she better get ready. Nancy Reagan has an appointment. Folks, step up and see our show. We have girls, girls, and girls. And a hamster. Come on, step right up here and see our show. Okay, now that you've had your fortune told, why do you say we go over there and go inside and look at the girls? Oh, you think they have girls? Oh, I'd rather not, Jerry. Why don't we go to the front house Oh, come on, Angel. Let's, let's just stick around a little while, huh? Yeah, that's a good idea, Angel. Rent a balcony. All right, all right. Just for a few minutes. Ortega! You want to hit a movie tonight? Tell my sister, Carmelita, that the time is coming, huh? Yes, of course, madame. <laughs> Somehow their marriage works. <laughs> Tell us, step forward and give the folks a little sample. See the dumpy woman with the Dr. Seuss hat on. That's enough. Don't do too much. <laughs> Pat, how about a little for you? Shots ring out, but the people of Bosnia bravely go on with their peep shows. Yeah, I'm drunk, so what? That's it. Take it easy. What the God did you want to do? And only ten beautiful costumes. That frosts my perm. And now, folks, I want to give you a glimpse of our star, that exotic gypsy dancer, Carmelita. Carmelita, that gooey chocolates. Carmelita singing the songs of Leonard Cohen. <laughs> That's Philippithecus. Um, the uh, rat had babies again, ma'am. He needs something to gnaw on. <laughs> Awkward for some reason. A cavalcade of heads from the early 60s, I guess. Even the normally sharp Ortega seems confused. <laughs> Just look at the dark, dreamy eyes. Those lips and that body. What a body. This it's whole movie has an oily T-zone. You will see that body in action. Doing her original... The movie that dares to show you every pore. Come inside and see the one and only woman of mystery. Oh, great act, huh? Yes, sir, folks, that's just a glimpse of our big attraction. We Let's go. Inside. Masterpiece Theater is on. Big act. In one continuous show. Phoebe Cates on sale today. Suddenly a giant girl snaps her tether and kills a coolie. Come on, Jerry. Let's go. No, I, I think I'd like to go inside and see the show, Angel. Well, I don't. Ooh. But I thought we agreed that what I say goes. Mommy, Daddy, don't fight. It's not that, Jerry. It's just that I didn't like the way you were staring at that Carmelita. Mm. Come on, let's go inside. That'll be fun. No. No? What do you mean, no? If you go in, you go in without me. Mm. You trying to do force me to make a decision between you and, and that curly show? It's not the show you're interested in. It's that stripper. Sabrina, the octogenarian witch. <laughs> I'm going to go in there with or without you, so make up your mind. Okay, go without me. And the young Gloria Steinem starts off. I still curse you all, Taff. Come on, hair, let's go home. You're going to let it go? I don't like anybody telling me what I have to do. One, please. A field trip for Scout Troop 34. Carl, why don't you be a buddy and take the car and see that she gets home, okay? Huh? She'll call off tomorrow. Okay, Jerry. That should be fine. Because I am foreign, you know. See you later. Mom's not on till nine. <laughs> squiggy, 
Jackie O. Morrissey. Uh, damn condoms in the way again. Cleaning ladies love this show. Oh, forgot my purse. Hi. Batsy better not upstage me this time. You know, the 14-year-olds who snuck in with fake IDs, they got to be feeling profoundly ripped off at this point. Yep. The Feliz Navidad dancer. The girls have been rehearsing all week for this part of the pageant. Yes, all the girls got along wonderfully this year. Now, were, were these dance numbers supposed to be provocative or merely boring? Well, provocative in their boringness. Ah. The girls' costumes were designed by longtime NFL referee Jerry Arkbright. <laughs> Hair trigger precision. They're like the blue angels of dancing. Yeah, one wrong move and they all crash. Oh, there's something Laverne and Shirley-esque about this. <laughs> Ray Dennis Steckler may have had some issues with women. Riverdance, the strip show. Ah, halftime at the Orange Bowl. Never fails to disappoint. Are you going to Susan's wedding show? Act did go over well at San Quentin. You know, they're always good, but tonight they're just, man, they're just on fire. Definitely. You know, oddly enough, Andrea Dworkin choreographed this. <laughs> that gal in the middle knows she forgot her dress? You know what I'm looking at right now? What? That exit sign. Oh, yeah. <laughs> huh? <clears throat> that Beeb Newworth, she is so multi talented. So, how is this a tribute to Madeline Albright? Without this, there could have been no prince. <laughs> Egoist! Saves her washerwoman pay to go to strip shows. Hey, Stella. 23 skidoo. Uh, how about a date tomorrow night? Okay. Should be fun. How does 7 o'clock sound? Huge. Great. Where are we going? Fat burger, as usual. <laughs> oh, I thought we could spend a quiet little evening at your place. Ugh. I could bring up a couple of steaks and you could broil them. That's your idea of a big evening? I should flavor the hot stove cooking dinner for you. Mm -hmm. Why not? Mm, he's got a point. He's going to wash the dishes. Oh, uh, I'll wash the dishes. With my hat. <laughs> he doesn't know how many dishes I have stacked up, poor dog. It only Ladies and gentlemen, Leslie Bohr. When the eye kiss. She better be nude. Oh, she's the zombie of the title I got. Oh, okay. This is one of the most popular acts at the Apollo. She's singing into a Lady Remington. Ow, it sure does. <laughs> one of the mommies in The Rose. Skibbly out to boop out bow wow 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 do. It's the guy next to you. Now, this is the show where the Hells Angels beat up a lot of people. She's tapped into the rebellious spirit of data entry people everywhere. <laughs> Moby a strip of music, it leads nowhere and comes from nowhere. Song stylings of Helen Crump. 
So Ray Dennis Steckler just filmed an open stage night and made it half his movie. Apparently. Come on, strip! Take off your clothes! Take off your hair! Woo! Well, the reason she got this gig is because she's shacking up with Lawrence Welk. Man, she could use a couple of Supremes or a Pip or something. <laughs> Staple your eyeballs. Cindy Room Clearer Larson. Ah, she has a God given talent for making tuna casseroles. <laughs> I dedicate this song to Sylvia Platt. Oh, no, you look great. Oh, you look great. Oh, Sister. hey, guys. Nice hair. Styling. <laughs> hey, thanks. You really think so, Mike? Yeah, thanks. The Nanites did it. Hey, Mike, when was the last time you updated your look, huh? Me? Oh, I don't know. I have a pretty basic look. I... 1985, I wow. guess. So, 500 and some odd years. Mike, it is time for a change. Yeah, yeah, let's look you over here. Uh, yeah, you're, you're aging, you're pasty and pink. You you probably want to draw the eye away from your face. Oh, go yeah. ahead, Mike. Contact the Nanites. Yeah. Ask for Shelly. Really? You think I should? Well, what the heck? Why not? Here, let's <laughs> yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah, Hello, go. Nanites. Uh, say, I was wondering if I could get in to see Shelly today. Okay, let me check. Um, Shelly can't see you until now. Hope, Hope that's okay. okay. Shelly! <laughs> Hi, Mike. I'm Shelly. How you doing today? Great. Let's just take a look here. Has your head always been this big or... So you have the day off today, or... So you work around here, or... Oh, sounds fun. Looks like you're taking care of what's left of your hair. Great. There you go, Mark. Do you need some product, or... Maybe some coconut algae Dijonese leave-in conditioner, or... No, no, no thanks, Shelly, huh? I don't think so. Wow, Mike, it's great. I mean, it really makes a difference. Yeah, it makes you look taller. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you think so? Because, I, I don't know, it just seems kind of high. I oh, mean, really? Campbell, can you give me rocket number nine? I don't know, you guys. I, I, I don't know. So, what's the matter, Mike? Isn't it good in the back? No, no, the back is fine. I, I, it just seems kind of high, that's all. Whoa, Whoa. oh, uh oh. Uh, better give me rocket number nine again. Uh-oh, Mike, looks like you got a communication satellite stuck in your new hairstyle. <laughs> uh, oh, no. I mean, that doesn't it seem just a touch high. Oh, well, it always takes time to get oh, used to a new style, Mike. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's... The, oh, we got oh, more inside. Oh, 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 oh. I think you took off too much, Mike. No, no, it still, it still seems high. Armalita. Paging Mr. Herman, paging Mr. Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> Joe Gray, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't that the guy Danny Bonaducci beat up? Watch as she walks around. You know, Noam Chomsky should start picking better warm up acts. Uncle Stripper wants you. Does the guy on the right have mouse ears on? Well, let me head over here now. Well, I'm up next. I better get my G-string on. Took too much off, Mike. Mm. You think so? It's different now. Hey, hey you know what? Huh. This is taped on. Oh, <laughs> this is a not even real hair. God, oh, boy. Ripped off. Who'd have thought? Her shoulders are real itchy. Ah, uh, poor Emmett yeah. Kelly. Didn't age well, did he? Selling Girl Scout cookies. Interested? We'll work for Sav. <laughs> it's a flyer for Ortega's band. Well, say what you want about Ortega. He has nice penmanship. He doesn't look like a Carmelita. Watch an average housewife get ready for bed. <laughs> I remain unaffected. Let me head back over here now. Yeah. She has the sensuality of Tyne Daly. Now, where's all the cheering coming from? Eh? Ooh, Rip off. What about the other glove? And cookies and punch in the fellowship hall. It looks like one of those Easter Island statues. Where's 
it is so cool that behind that thick curtain she doesn't have all that many clothes on. Yeah. <laughs> take me out to the take. Me out to the take. Me out to the take. Me out to the ball game. Me out to the ball game. <laughs> Thrill as he looks for the men's room. Me out to the We're fully dressed. What are you doing? <laughs> I was this close to a girl. I t- <laughs> the nerve. He saw me in my modest business suit. Could there be another door somewhere? No. Recorded on Edison's cylinder. Oh, Carmelita shares a place with Jaco Pistorius. Carmelita? Jump a little lighter. I am here. He has a cab forward face. Would you like to buy a Hammond organ? The note said you wanted to see me. Yes. Follow me. We're not hiring right now, but we need extra help during the holidays sometime. A woman interested in me? This is odd. She used to have an American flag hanging there, but her mom got mad. A lollipop, thanks. Drizzle, 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 draw. Is she talking into a kazoo? <laughs> oh, I see. It's an intervention. Your face hurts us, Jerry, and we came together to tell you. You would look like you're doing open stage at the improv. Nothing will work. Uh, ma'am, that poison shipment came in. I don't know if you want to... You will hear only my... I, they voice. just need your signature on it if you could break away there. Hmm. Only that which I ma'am. choose well, to show you. I suppose I could just sign for it then, ma'am. Open your eyes, Jack. Look at the wheel. A dimension not of sight or sound, but of crap. Look at the beautiful steam weeds. Beautiful steamed weeds? That's what she said. Steamed weeds. I think Liz Taylor's surgery has made her evil. You have a light travel from the weeds. Yeah, that is neat, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, it's back again. Ava Gabor reads Allen Ginsberg. He won't sleep if you keep hitting the steady cam against his head. Wigs by Abby Hoffman of Hollywood. I think what she's trying to say is sleep! my command. All right already, lady. You've hypnotized the hell out of him. Wow, he's a loud smoker. Mm, good brainwashing today. Is there a freight train going by? What? Pay no attention to the woman behind the mole. <laughs> you will be Nicholas Cage. Soundtrack by the Edgar Winter Group. You will do only that. Okay, I think we have it. I have commanded you to do. Bob Dylan makes an unscheduled appearance. Hey, uh, Ray, which way is up on this damn camera? Which way is up? I, I can't. Uh, yes, may I help you? Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh. I don't have to do this for a living, you know. I'm the Emir of Kuwait. My father and mother have an iron and steel company. They're pre laughing. You've heard it before? My mother irons and my father steals. (laughs) I don't get it, but the kids seem to love them. And now the hungry mouth takes great pride in pleasure introducing a young new singer. Let's have a big hand for Mr. Don Snyder. Don Snyder. That's his stage name. His real name is Dan Swanson. Yeah. He's still tuning up. He's not even ready. How do 
I stand with your heart. And J.P. Morgan gives him the gong. <laughs> Tell me, please, so I can know. Next, Livingston Taylor. I'm walking blind through this world. He later found it Rage Against the Machine. <laughs> Just because I love you so. Living on reds, vitamin C, and cocaine. He single-handedly killed the folk revival. Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. That's beautiful. It's damn beautiful is what it is. Beautiful. Benazir Budo sits in on Triangle. <laughs> London calling, yes, I was there too. If you love me, I really love your peaches, wanna shake your tree. I miss liquor. What's wrong, Mark? That fight you had with the manager still getting you down? Harassed by creditors? Oh, not that. It's something that happened on the midway tonight. What do you mean? My anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, hon. <laughs> We're on. I'll tell you after the show. When he was on Sullivan, they only shot him from his ankles down. <laughs> With your heart. Legalize it. I've been asked to explain the iron and steel joke. Thank you very much. And now we take pride in presenting our main attraction, the very talented Miss... Jane Pittman. Marge Nielsen <laughs> and Mr. Bill Ward. Let's have a big round of applause for them. Hi-ya! Man, she's bad. I'm a big pussycat. Look at me. Tab Hunter and Yvonne DiCarlo. Hey, I found a dime. Me? Sig hi. Zig, hi, Zig, hi. You weigh about the same as Albert Speer. Uh oh, dance critic. Hmm? Huh? Oh. oh. Um, did I tell you about my parents' iron and steel business? <laughs> the death of Heidi Fleiss. Oh. Nipples too small, too dark and upsetting. Ah, my tea kettle's ready. So is my tea kettle. Fred Flintstone's dinosaur. <laughs> I shouldn't have had those Gino's pizza rolls before bed. Hot dogs, fresh roasted peanuts. My incense is out of control. Um, uh, just one more question, man. You feel the pig. <laughs> See, you gotta tell her every day that you love her. <laughs> yeah, I think we got your point. Kale. Man, Pee Wee's Playhouse goes bad. Zombies are in town. Come back, little Jerry. Why bound? Mike, I, I think I'm freaking out. <laughs> It'll be okay. No. Now, see, this is what happens when you admit too many women to the Citadel. What do you want, Mrs. Lady Person? Come in for dinner, honey. Come here. Oh, man, the Miss America pageant got weird during the 60s. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> You're freaking, huh? I don't know. What's gonna happen? Did she say I'm never Jack? Or am I freaking out? Yeah. Our state fair is a great state fair. I, I mean it, Mike. I, I, I think I'm freaking out. <laughs> no. Sandy Patty's greatest inspirational hits. Wow, they're recreating Woody Allen's parking dream. No. Where do you want him? Over here? All right. It's a really elaborate oh. trust exercise. Oh. Oh. Aha! I caught you! Oh. Hey, hey, where'd you go? 
<laughs> Joanne Acolytus directs The Odd Couple. Oh. Oh. Easy, oh. So Dave's not here, or okay. Hey, Bobo. <laughs> Starring Juliet Prowse. Yes, I approve. Very good, sir. You know, this is what I dreamed when I took Sudafed and Nyquil together once. <laughs> Uh, I just want to wake up in my squalid, roach-infested apartment and know that everything's okay. Now his hair must need a drink of water. I need somebody. Not just anybody. You know, I need someone. Ah! I'm done with my freak out. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) Where's Elizabeth Shue? Ah, look familiar, Mike? More than after the UW Stout Spring Fling? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh. The first trimester is always the harder time. Oh. Morning in South Beloit. The pigeons are a little less diseased. No business left. Read all about it. So, a shot of a rainy street corner somewhere. Thank you, movie. (laughs) (sighs) I'm going out for some heroin. You want some? Is that sweatshirt actually part of his skin? (laughs) I accidentally ate a no-pest trip. What should I do? I see. There is no engine. Hey, it's about time you got up. Well, I had a restless night last night. I know. I heard you talking to yourself last night while you were slipping. It wasn't slipping. It's not the craziest dream I've ever had. It must have been aboard that crazy chick, Carmelita. Sound? Are, are you getting this? Or, well, we'll move on. We've got a lot of other lines. Come on, Jerry. Tell me. What happened last night? I don't know. I just can't seem to quite figure out exactly what did happen. See, I killed those guys, and it's just a fog after that. Well, I, don't, I don't even remember coming home last night. Sometimes... <laughs> When I got a load on, I can't remember things like that either. Yeah, I was thinking about it. Well, I was uh, drinking. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, but they got to go together. Hey, how about you and Anne? Everything okay? You made me take a ride home. Let me move my condom here. Here's a cheers. Thanks. Uh, was she mad? Not as many as her mother. Who uh, cares about her mother? I don't know. I kind of like her myself. Ew, gruesome. Yeah, maybe so. Look, I've got to go. I'll go with you. I wouldn't be able to get this piece of junk running anyhow. <laughs> Are you uh, kidding me? Stay here. Look, I'm going to fricassee that roadkill, okay? Believe That car goes from zero to 50 in about a minute. Is it trash? And the muffler falls off. <laughs> Boy, I'd hate to be a bird and live right there. That thing corners like a river barge. <laughs> Hey, I got a message from my roommate. He says, Hey, how do you like your pancakes? Say, Madison? Where's Angie? Uh, she's over there by the pool. Thanks. She's already had eight of my breakfast burgers. He comes over specifically to pee in the pool. <laughs> well, she's using SPF 589. How was the porn show, hon? I came to explain about my head. So you finally decided to drop by. <laughs> Angie, I'd like to explain about last night. It's okay, I understand. Oh, you killed some people. We all well, do I it. Tell by your voice, you're still mad at me. Why shouldn't I be after the way you acted? You know? Mm. I got a big zit starting here. I'm a little confused about that, too. I can't understand what you saw in her. Look, can we change the subject? All right. But I sure would like to know what happened after I left. But first I'm going to unnaturally twirl my umbrella at you. Like this. Please. No, this makes me hop around in costume women with their arms up in the air. At long last, movie, have you no sense of decency? (laughs) 
Ted Danson. I gained an ounce. <laughs> Who wants cheese on their burgers? Is this your phaser shots? Madison. Kids, can someone come over here and help me purge? You're totally mental, I'm going to say. Later in Rome. Be slightly L. This was digitally recorded, then erased, then re-recorded on a dictaphone. So are they implying there's a country music fest happening like a mile away? <laughs> Western zombie music, a short-lived fest. Trains make me think of something. But rice aroni shipments continued through the crisis. I didn't know that Edison wrote and recorded his own folk songs. <laughs> you know, they used to put the microphone in a saltine box across the room. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll save vomiting till I get home. Yeah. Maybe it's the funk of the hooded sweatshirt he's been wearing through the whole film that's got him down. Which, I love this verse. He sings... Hi. Hi. We interrupt this program to bring you a special announcement. This is Herbie the Misfit Elf. are still searching for the bizarre murderer of Marge Nielsen, exotic dancer at the Hungry Mouth nightclub. Miss Nielsen was stabbed to death last night during the performance of her act. Her partner, Bill Ward, was fatally wounded while trying to apprehend the murderer. Hmm. Police have no description of the killers. But they are at present checking all transients in the area. All righty for further development. We now return you to our musical program. During our news break, we change station format to all trumpet fanfare. Suddenly it's the town without pity. I'm a zombie. This is my story. Oh God, the centrifugal force, mommy, mommy. <laughs> Ride the lamp. Okay, there's a fair that figures prominently in the movie, we know. Step right up. Join the show. One thin dime, one thin tenth of a dollar will get you in to see some of the most exotic looking ladies. Get touched by a carny. Step right over there to the ticket. One thin dime. All thin dime. They are thin. He makes a good point. <laughs> and the girls of the Midway joining forces to bring you song and dance. Mr. Herman. Shrimp out of shape? What? Shick out of shape. Oh. Shick out of I think this is a can can't. Well, then try Gillette. It's a shick out of shape. Julie Eisenhower, like you've never seen her. What do the huge plumage bird women have to do with the chick out of shape? <laughs> She's the hardest working dental hygienist in showbiz. First blade lifts, the second one cuts, you get your chick out of shape. Now, everybody, shave! Replace your blade every two weeks! No Yay. nicks or cuts, comfort and convenience! Yay. Ooh, I had one! Uh, the oops, we're on again. <laughs> this is where the dancing gets great the timing. Gower Champion is in the corner trembling. Okay, wait, 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 wait,
Alright, now we got this way, Cindy. What are you doing? Don't stop. stop. Yeah, never let your book club be backup dancers, I say. Brought to you by Schick. <laughs> Gosh, you know, I advise other people to get this Schick out of shape, and my Schick is nowhere near out of shape. <laughs> Prancer murdered. Dancer held for questioning. <laughs> Do you take murder walk-ins? Yoo-hoo. Can I get a yoo-hoo? Hello? Yeah. Just tending my moles. If you're looking for my sister, Carmelita, she's not here. I was looking for Carmelita. I was looking for you. Are you the tick vet? Why? Have you seen this? I see that filthy pig futures are down. <laughs> what about it? She was in your tent last night. Well, she, I don't remember. I wouldn't have remembered either if it wasn't for the way she looked when she left. She seemed terrified. Did she? Yes. Funny how things happen. Here today, gone tomorrow. Shick out of shape, you know. She out of shape. Just out of curiosity, what did you predict the future held for her? Not. I know nothing. Because she wasn't here last night. I didn't know you better. I'd almost say you had something to hide. I'd start with a mole. Well, I've got to get home. I've got a date. With a carny. Hmm. And now we give you the girl with a golden voice, Miss Terry Randall. Gillette, the best a man can get. Hey, Miles Davis, turn around. Her scatting puts Ella Fitzgerald to shame. I, I think of a different kind of scat when I hear her sing. Ooh. <laughs> like Rube Gretzky. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Glenn Close Experience. She's a senior with sass. Bling blaggy noobie doff doom daggy doo flingy wada doo blue. Bad bad for poob. Think a black or blue. Grandma always gets drunk and sings at weddings. Centrum silver is what you need. Come on, ka blink, blank, blank. Can I get a medic over here? More scorbutic strippers. Oh, she's singing the Thomas the Tank Engine theme? Black, black, bloop. Oh, lady, your dress fell off and your solid gold brassiere is irritating the whole room. Why'd you cancel Battlestar Galactica? Jerry, what are you doing here? I've come for a few answers. And it's raining and I came to stalk in here. I'm not sure what happened last night behind these curtains, but I think you know. <laughs> Oh, Ortega, my good man. These rellenos of crab and smoky gouda. Fresh crab? Oh, I thought so. Delicious. Oh, hey, Mike. Ah, what the hell is that? Oh, I think that's the sweet potato hash with tomatillos and smoked yeah. flank steak. Not the food. I'm talking about him. That is Ortega. I hired him to cater this little movie break, Mike. This is his first job, and you're embarrassing me. How did you get him up here? Well, I contacted his website, and he set everything up. Oh, Mike, you gotta try these blue corn baskets with flakes, trout, and chipotle vinaigrette. Nah, you know, I think I'll pass, sir. I'm about to gag from his body odor. Mike, good heavens, man. Are you trying to humiliate me? Just smile and take a plate. Yeah. Oh, I'm not gonna take a plate. The guy's probably got ear mites. Oh, well, still, these venison and goat cheese tostados are heavenly. Why would you hire this guy? That's well, I guess that's just the difference between me and you, Mike. That, that you hired to form psychopaths and I don't? Exactly. Okay. Oh, look, now he's ashing in the quail. Oh, 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 Mike, oh, he hurt oh, that. Oh, oh, Ortega, Ortega, it's oh, nothing. Oh, we'll just eat oh, around it. No, oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, good one, Mike. You can just get the caterer for Servo's first communion yourself, you big bully. Oh, be right back. Still smoking?
to us. Bling black doogie. Okay. 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 After this afternoon with Angela, I'm beginning to believe it. Have you been drinking? No, no, I haven't been drinking. drinking. Everything's been kind of mixed up, but after hearing that news broadcast a little while ago, I'm beginning to think things are a little different. Just drop his marbles? <laughs> kind of thing. Look, last night I killed a girl, and I think you know why. Oops, no, I didn't mean that. Oh. What happened last night behind those curtains? Well, if you really must know what happened behind those curtains, why don't you go behind them? Uh, oh, there's a mining facility back there, of course. Uh, the washing machine's out of balance. Got milk. We could go to Donnie Brasco. Well, that cleared up nothing. <laughs> Can I borrow a cup of dippity doo? <laughs> Welcome to Paneling World. What kind of paneling can I show you? And yet we hear the door squeak perfectly well. I got here as soon as I could. I had to have the boss my cousin <laughs> Well, we've just got to find him and help him. I still think you should call the police instead of trying to find him yourself. But he's my roommate. I know the guy. I know he's not like that. Well, gee, Wally. Hey. Would you please give us a chance? <laughs> Don't call the police, okay? Please. You're right, Mother, but let's wait a little while, shall we? Help. On the phone this afternoon, you told me that he was upset. Upset about what? I think he was about to get the well, property. I thought he was upset about last night. I didn't realize she was on the verge of going psycho. You know, he acted as if he was going on. Please know you can talk to my ears anytime. <laughs> if he's in a daze and wandering around the streets, we've got to get to him before the police pick him up. Do you have any idea where he might have gone? I wish that guy would stop screaming. <laughs> Do you suppose he could have gone back to that carnival and that girl Carmelita you told me about? It's pointy voice theater. That sounds like something he'd do. We've got to get to him before the police pick him up. Please give us a chance. We'll take your advice and be careful thinking. All right, Angela. You can go. As long as Madison goes with you. But if you're not back in the next two hours, I'm going to call the police. Okay, now let's go. I just have to swing by Prague first. I pre wedged myself. Madison, don't forget your puffer and your knee brace and your earplugs and your eye drops. Drive the giant citrus juicer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is Beethoven's worst symphony. <laughs> Get your terrifying devil monkeys. Oh, it's Ernest Borgnine. Jemima, because we have so many reasons to celebrate. Catwoman at home. It's your elaborate preparation for car talk. Does anyone know who this is? No. <laughs> Sounds like someone's playing a cow. Knife delivery. Can we at least have a cocktail first? The budget zombie. <laughs> middle-aged peewee. If this is her date, then it'll be the first thing I understand about the whole movie. <laughs> nah, you have to try hard in that to avoid a date with me. Stella. I brought cheddar combos. Uh-huh. Hey, a carnival. Wow. <laughs> That's it. I'm going to try on more navy hooded sweatshirts. See how my skin just peels off? Watch how the tapeworm just goes back into my hand. See that? I do love Ortega, and you cannot stop us. Welcome, my little sister. You have done so very well. It's time, I think, that you want to get your reward. Ortega. Yeah, what? Okay, sure. It's too bad that you remembered so much. I like Ortega's look. Now you have left me very little choice. Uh, ma'am, that was a sprite I had sitting over there. Take him back and put him with the rest of the little pets. Put him in the nice room with all the other filthy bees. <laughs> Notice you haven't soiled yourself yet, sir. Is there a problem? Zombie walking. 
So, uh, you're the Jerry I've been hearing about. Pool's on the eighth floor, Jerry. Uh, where are you from, Jerry? <laughs> Yeah, I just bend down. Usually the zombies are a little shorter. I'm sorry about that. Neil Young is attacking. Wow, they had an intricate escape plan. When she opens the door, jump on her. Ooh, these are just the carnies. Wait till the zombies come out. Oh, you know, you give your kid a cute little zombie for Easter, and then it grows up like this. Outside with this man. Outside, young people. Take off! Oh, no. Hands! <laughs> ah, cross dressing British police inspector stripper arrives. <laughs> well, I'd like to attack, but my nails aren't dry. Estrella? Estrella? No, I hate the way they stereotype zombies in this movie. Hey, it's Clint Howard. <laughs> Hey, a carnival. Yeah, wow. yeah, I'm almost done over here. Hey, Big Head Todd. And the monster. Jeez, you comb your hair with an egg beater, Ted? Hey, guys, let's run around outside in our jammies. Woo! That tick on her face is panicking now. I need blood. Wake up. Please wake up. Well, she and Ortega are in a better place. They're living under that damp, stinky couch in the sky. Mm. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Dennis James. <laughs> <laughs> the clones of Funkenstein. Psycho Funkapus. Story about a Hopper Valley widow wife. It's the kid and play dancers. Oh, they turned Leech Woman into a musical. A command performance for Jesse Helms. Uh, come in through the kitchen. They know me here. Yeah, Lawrence Welk reaches out to the black audience. <laughs> so they're white people dressed as Africans in white face. Confusing. Buried with my donkey, he's my favorite honky. They're African ladies in waiting who are Inuit and Swedish and dressed in tights. Uh -huh. The indigo girls try to find the stage. <laughs> All this pageantry can't hide the fact that there's no stripping. It seems like stripping would be a lot cheaper to produce. Is this confuse a cat? <laughs> Hey, he's just in his underpants. Put on some pants. Oh, sorry. I thought it would be funny. Now I'm just ashamed. I'll, I'll, I'll go. The Halbanol. Zombies just want more stage time. I have fear. Beach Boy is waiting outside. Done and done. That Barker's supposed to be dead. What the hell? Well, now, where are they going to go in town for gay dancing and racist production numbers? Officer Boyatano. Oh, no. Cops. I'm going. I'm going back to my cage. Everything's cool. Nice plant. Poor kids, they're just mixed up. Fascist. Oh, watch this. He's only 50 years from retirement, too. He's a cop gone bad. I mean, he's just a cop. He's really bad at his job. Um, I guess you got under control. <laughs> you know, I'm sick of this, Bob. The third zombie I've pulled off you this week. Well, just yesterday, I was slipping dollars into her bikini. Uh, sorry, folks, the Women's Expo is canceled. Hurry up, maybe we get something to eat. Oh, it's 
What is with the periodic dog bark? Oh. Oh. Ah, Inspector Madison, thank God you're here. Jackie Mason. I have corn blade, please. I bit my knuckle. Oh, uh, no, no, I'm up. I'm up. I just need some coffee. Oh, I slept in my contacts. Ow. Don't walk on the couch. Stop, come on, you booger. I still have some rides left on my ticket. <laughs> she runs like a girl. <laughs> Jerry Lewis is Steve Prefontaine. <laughs> I wish I were liquid metal, man. Wow, Dean, I won't die below down the beach. Wow, 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 wow. wow. Madison, the boy who should be in a plastic bubble. <laughs> I feel so free. Well, you did it. You finally did it. Damn you all to hell. Wow. Any chance a pelican will drop a turtle on his head? <laughs> no. Right about now, the crabs are out there setting the table, laying out the condiments. Yep. Sail away. Jerry the zombie on the rocks say yes. Croat and Madison, their thieves. What this man? Madison. You know, there are easier ways to clean your skin with pumice. They lost a contact out here somewhere. If he wasn't confused by the beach, he wouldn't be Jerry. Stop or I'll show you. Oh, some movies inspire you to make your own movie. This one inspires me to make my own gravy. <laughs> the Kennedy touch football game gets out of hand. Well, if it doesn't feel fresh by now, it's never going to happen. Mm -mm. I love you, Jerry. You have so much to live for. Madison had an adenoid attack and had to hold back. <laughs> Lack of muscle beach. <laughs> I got you. Ba -da -ba -da, pew pew. Madison's off somewhere selling name tags in his underwear. <laughs> Are you trying to run around the English Channel? Seeing as how this is a 44 Magnum. No, 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 yes, Jerry, yes, yes. Do it. Do it. Madison is still back there trying to put on his totes. You can follow my hair. Madison. Go on, go on. Maybe he's actually a silky. No, I think he's a mucusy. <laughs> My hair wants to talk to you. Go back. Oh, shoot. Which ever works out best? Hey, grab the camera and get some shots on the way down. Madison, sister. No, I don't know if I ever told you this, Mike, but my life, my love, and my lady is the sea. Uh, yeah, you did, actually. Oh, I did. I'm sorry. Yeah. Crackle mourns the death of Pop. Now, now, Brandy, she was a fine girl. What a good wife she would be. But as mm. I previously stated, my life, my love, and my lady is, is, is the, 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 the sea. sea. Yeah, right. the sea. Right. 
Rena Oswald looks out. Well, I'm going to Las Vegas to drink myself to death. Surge! <laughs> Madison. Here, officer, you can shoot him better from here. Here, we'll help. Madison. Cops report has to be signed by his mom. They have to have a crane shot just for her hair. I'll suck the bullet out. Madison. What do you think you came up for to eat? We hope you've enjoyed No Moral Theater, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the camera pulls back as if to say, sorry about this, everyone. It's my fault. Sorry. Oh, I thought it was Hollywood Republic of Chad. Chad. Madison is Madison. Drunk, played by himself. Hobo, himself. Stripper, herself. Strange creatures who stop living and became mixed up zombies. The incredibly strange creatures who stopped living and became mixed up zombies. The incredibly strange creatures who stopped living and became mixed up So this is a roller coaster, then? Well, sure it is. In a manner of speaking, absolutely. <laughs> okay, because it seems to be missing some of the things that the roller coaster in the movie had, like yeah. a, a track. Really? Hmm. Oh, interesting choice. You know, I think the screaming lemur offers you a more sophisticated illusion of danger, yeah, Mike. Yeah, yeah. Okay, is, is there a safety bar? Well, I got you covered there. Just grab that roll of duct tape down there and strap yourself yep. in securely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, please keep your arms inside and do not stand up on this ride. And don't forget your complimentary cup of steaming hot Colombian coffee. Oh, mm. okay. Ooh, this smells good. Here we go. Okay, here we go, Mike. Oh, can I get a lid for this? Maybe we should look into that track thing. Yeah. Hey, let's see what Pearl's doing, huh? No time to talk, Art. Are we up Dairy Queen yet? Well, no, no, honey, we're home. Come on, kids, chop, chop. Your parents are going to be big, really big. Pearl Forrester, you have returned our runaway children to us. We are very grateful, and we hope that they weren't too much trouble. They certainly can be a handful. Oh, they, they sure can wear you out. Boy, tell me about it. Last week, they were very naughty and vaporized a whole galaxy. <laughs> oh, adorable little scamps. So Mommy, Daddy, we went Grand Pearl, and then we did a whole yeah, bunch of stuff. Yeah, and then we got the ball in his brain. Wow, that's great, kids. Now, now, get your shoes on, Scooter. Come on. Would you come in for some coffee and carrot cake, Oh, oh no, I, I couldn't. Besides, I'd probably melt in your presence or something. And that's true. Good point. But thanks again, Pearl. Buddy, Darlene, Scooter, come along, children. I'm going to miss you, Grandma Pearl. Uh, I'm going to miss you more than him, great Grandma Pearl. Oh. And I'm going to miss you most of all, great, great Grandma Pearl. Oh. I'll miss you, kids, too. Great, great, great Grandma Pearl will miss you. <laughs> All right, I am free. Good riddance, you little no-neck monsters. Blackjack table, here I come.
you think we came here for, David? 